What's up everybody? So I'm literally just eating a snack behind me here at City Creek. The harm is at City Creek. Um, if you're familiar with my videos, first of all, welcome to the to today's video. David Contreras, the actor selling homes. Across this is State Street, we have City Creek. If you're not a local to Utah, this is one of the best, if not the best, uh, outdoor shopping experience you will have. So lots of construction going around. That's gonna be the tallest building in all of uh, Utah come maybe in a year or so. Today's listing, we're actually looking at the Belvedere building right here. Exposed brick built in 1919. So the Belvedere, not quite sure if it's French, but it means beautiful views from, uh, from what I read in the description. So uh, we have a listing. It's a one bedroom, one bathroom, 702 square feet so it's going to be very cozy the main selling point here as you can see right there the belvedere uh 29 south state street unit 503 so i'm guessing it's going to be in the fifth floor if you if you talk about art you know we're talking about you know location 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 this is definitely in the center of everything that is uh temple square behind me behind that is the state capitol building Everything is within walking distance, as I just uh, said recently, or in a few seconds ago, we have City Creek, we have Gallivan Plaza, we have Echoes Theater, and then you have the entrance to you, potentially your new residence, 29 South State Street. We're gonna be looking at unit 503, listed at 360,000. This is the entrance to the Velvedere, which is very, very cool. Gives you a, definitely a sense that we're in the 19, early 1900s, um, but you know, the grand entrance to your condo, to your expansive condo. So I'm going to go ahead and try to go get inside. I need to go find the, the Supra key. And once I get access to this, we're going to take a look at this pretty cool, uh, residence in the heart of Salt Lake City, of downtown Salt Lake City. Okay. I'll see you in a second. All right. Now that we have access to the unit and this is awesome so you have these double doors but again this was built in 1919 obviously it's been remodeled i believe it was in the 70s with a lot of the original materials a lot of the uh, original contents uh, materials were kept or preserved um so you have your it definitely gives you a sense that you're in new york it gives you the, the the pa not pa system the, the the radio system to connect with the different uh different okay how do i oh maybe it's this there we go okay so definitely private entrance very secluded you have these double doors there's that door and then you go and have obviously these keys and this little fob to go in so here's the foyer definitely gives you it's 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 it gives you an apartment and hotel vibe as you walk in there you got the mailboxes right there i'm gonna go ahead and head up to the fifth floor the foyer is really 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 cool um love the chandelier and then for an extra cost there is a um there is availability to park underground is a parking in the back it's on the east side is that uh, correct yeah i think so okay really? go ahead go ahead so yeah, for an extra cost, an extra fee, there is uh, the opportunity. Oh, fifth, please. Sixth. Fifth. Uh, there is a an opportunity to have covered parking. This is on the east of the building. As I showed it outside, you do have again very retro. The materials, the obviously the space of the elevator. Um, we're heading to see, see this unit on the fifth floor. Just love the antique uh, aspect of the elevator. Thank you. And then <clears throat> as we come into the fifth floor, we are looking most likely for 503, which is gonna be, so again, as I was saying outside uh, or downstairs before this gentleman joined me, uh, it is a very cool project. As you can see, it feels like a hotel, uh, an old school hotel. Obviously all this stuff is originally just refurbished, which is very, very cool. But it's, it's a hybrid, it's an apartment hotel. 501, okay, so we're looking for 503. Kind of gives you a little bit of the shining, uh, <laughs> a little of the shining aspect, right? Okay, 506, 509, it's going up. 
Okay. Five oh two, five oh five, five oh four, five oh three. Okay, so here we go. And I love again, everything's antique, everything is original. There's two. There we go. There we go. Okay. All right. So uh, before I take a look, and look at these, look at these locks. This is so cool. So this is definitely not a. a it's not going to be a spacious unit, but it's going to be definitely retro if you are wanting to go with the old, old school um, stuff. Um, but anyway, I'm trying to get my thoughts. So basically something that I did read downstairs is for an extra fee, there is covered parking, which is on the east side of the building. Also for an additional $1,000, you will have a uh, washer and a dryer added to the unit. If you decline to do so, then the um, alternative is that each level, this is the fifth floor, has a, a laundry serv not ser service, that's not the right use of that word there are washers and dryers so like a laundromat or a washing room uh, in each level so again for a thousand dollars you get your own so here is a look at the 702 square feet that we're going to be looking at so that is facing state street we got about nine foot ceilings again the the moldings everything uh just gives it a different vibe you're downtown salt lake city in the heart of everything as right out, out the window you have city creek down the street, you have um, you have Temple Square here, and again, because of the the, the nature of the build, nineteen early nineteen hundreds, just seven years. Look at this. This was built seven years after the Titanic sunk in nineteen twelve. But anyway, so we go with old old vibes, old renewed vibes, and now we have the separate kitchen right in here. Very little. Very cozy. I guess the key word right here, no light. All right, so I'm guessing that they're gonna be uh, replacing the, the bulb. So we got the kitchen right here. So separate room and it's on its own. You have the dining with a little chandelier, custom, obviously custom lighting fixture. You have the living room, which, you know, you can use art. You can use, you know, add a TV right there. You can definitely open these old school windows. That definitely gives you a, an East Coast feel. Check this out. Very, very cool. So you have the Key Bank building right in front. You have Temple Square right over there. And you have City Creek literally down there. You just cross the street, whether it's over there or over there. And then you're in City Creek and all types of shopping. So, and I was just coming in from right here. Next door, you have Harmon. So you don't even have to drive to get the groceries. You can literally just carry the bags up the building. So here's another vantage point of the living room. I love the wooden floors. You know, if you're regular on my channel, you know how much I love wooden floors. Uh, so yeah, very narrow um, condo, but again, it's beautiful. I think if if this makes sense for a, a business professional, a single a bachelor, bachelorette, or a, or a newlywed couple, this is very, very, I think, usable space. So again, the kitchen, you got the wooden floors, you have the the fridge, you have all these things that do, I do believe, do read, read the video description, but I do believe these appliances do stay. Uh, updated cabinets, and then you have your sink. You can do your, your dishes right here as you're looking <coughs> across the, basically the main hall down there from where I came in, into your neighbors, and definitely have the, the East Coast of New York, the Chicago vibes, Boston vibes. I like it. It doesn't make sense to have something like this when you have three kids. But again, if, if you're a bachelor, bachelorette, a business professional, you want the proximity to downtown Salt Lake City and to everything that downtown offers, whether it's employment or school going up to the University of Utah, you have direct access access to the tracks, uh, tr uh, tracks train line. So you can ride all the way up to the University of Utah. Anything you could want is centrally located right here. So behind this, I'm guessing that's gonna be like an Amazon door, most likely an Amazon for your Amazon packages. 
okay, why is that light not on? How do I turn that light on? Okay, so here's the one bathroom. The light is flickering. It is not haunted, but we have original, original tile in this bathroom. Okay, we're getting ranging back all the way to the 1900s. So <laughs> very small bathroom. Check out, whoa, check out this bathtub. So super small bathtub. We got the towel, the, the backsplash. Here's the shower head. How cool is that? Very retro. And then again, your bathtub. Uh, you have your light that's flickering right now, so it makes definitely gives you a, a, a feeling of, of haunted. You have the old school mirror, medicine cabinet, and then your sink. So I think it's very cool. I know it's not practical, but uh, it's a very cool bathroom. And next to the bathroom, we have the one bedroom. There we go, a proper light. I'm gonna go ahead and turn this thing off. Okay, so we have the bedroom and again, high ceilings. Even though it's an old, old building, we have high ceilings. We have nine foot ceilings throughout the whole, yeah, throughout the whole unit. Very nice. Old school radiator. And yeah, again, a continuation of the wood flooring. And this looks like actual real wood, not laminate. I could be wrong, maybe that's laminate and this is actual wood. So uh, walk-in closet, pretty roomy. Nothing out of this world, but you have pretty good size closet. And again, you have your king size bed, queen size bed. Not much space for a TV, but then again, you're not gonna be really using the TV when you're in a bedroom, right? Uh, and again, a view of the downstairs of the courtyard. And again, very cool vibes of East Coast, of New York meets Salt Lake City. So 1919, as I said, full remodel in 1970 something. Uh, extra fee for parking downstairs and covered right behind the building. Extra fee, a thousand dollars if you want a if you want a washer and dryer in the unit rather than have to walk, uh, I guess, down the hall. But this is cool. I think it's pretty cool. I just got to get a proper view of the facade. I don't know if I was so, too close to the building. So. This would be your domain, master of your domain, since we're talking about New York and maybe Seinfeld. This would be your domain, one bedroom, one bathroom, kitchen, 702 square feet. Uh, do, again, bit, read the video description. There's a lot of information, too much to mention on the video, so do read the video description. Uh, I don't wanna go ahead and blurt out the, the HOA, the monthly HOA, but there, it's pretty high from what I read. <laughs> So do read down there and see what it covers. Uh, again, you're located central Salt Lake City in the downtown, right above. You can see the Macy's right over there. So City Creek at your fingertips, as well as you have um, Temple Square and up State Street, you have access to Memory Grove, which is awesome place for picture taking, walking your dog, going for a jog. So phenomenal location very unique and interesting real estate. So whether you buy this as a primary residence or better yet, you buy it as a, as an investment property and you rent this out, Airbnb it or whatever, make it, make it work and get you some more money. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and oops, get the key so we can head out. I think I want to kind of give video as I make my way down. And then definitely gives you a feel like you're in New York or something, especially for security reasons. Yeah. Love all these things, the little knickknacks from the past. It takes you freaking forever to open it. Okay, so here's your hallway. Man, I feel like I'm back in maybe 19... Maybe not all the way back to 1919 or definitely back to the 1970s. Very cool. Okay. So here are the elevators. Or you can make your way down five flights of stairs with the old school stair staircase. Uh, but yeah, so before the gentleman walked in, uh, I didn't really get to to show you the elevator. I think the elevator is a cool art piece for sure. So the apartment itself or the condo itself, but check out this elevator. How cool is that? So it's very small, but look at all the little details. I'm gonna go ahead and go with floor one, but oh yeah, look at this. 
the off repair button. What does that say? Never mind. So, very cool elevator. Check out all the details, all the gold. Very cool. Okay, so we're back at floor one, the foyer. So, you would invite your. Where did this take me? Oh, wait, lobby. Haha. <laughs> So there's a lobby. I went to floor one. We gotta go back to the lobby. But anyway, if you have any questions regarding this this particular listing, very cool location, very cool vibe. Um, then we can go ahead and uh, talk. Here's the mail room. So as you make your way up to your room, you'll have 503. Boom, right there, and then get your Amazon packages. But I love this entrance. Very grand okay anyway so as i said in the beginning we have two sets of doors this one is locked which will open once you have this fob uh, my goodness even it even smells cool we have the double doors french doors as you want make your way in and then obviously you're going to be talking to your guest and they can go ahead and talk to you into that and then you can open up, maybe buzz them in. I didn't notice a button, but definitely a very cool property, whether it can be used as a primary residence or better yet, add it to your investment portfolio. This is so cool. This is honestly, I've seen these, uh, a few of these have gone up for sale in the last few years and I've always wanted to come here and do it. Now, you know, normally you are attracted to the big uh, modern and the big open concept and contemporary designs, but something like this has a lot of character, something that new homes and new construction simply doesn't have. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and put the key back. Very thrilling content, right? Seeing me put this stuff back. As you can see, there are two key boxes right here this is the one that we just saw priced at 360 702 square feet one bedroom one bathroom this one i think it's the one that we actually there's quite a few other ones there's a second listing which is actually slightly less expensive than the one we saw if you're interested in that one do let me know that one's i think around the same square footage maybe in a different floor maybe not as cool views but that one is priced at two ninety nine, so a little under three hundred thousand dollars. So, whether it's the one we just saw at three sixty, another one at two ninety nine. Man, this is so cool! As you make your way out your front door, into whether it's work or college or or, or whatever it is to go walk your dog or walk yourself or whatever, it's a very cool experience. So, the Velvedere built in 1919, remodeled in 1970 something. And check out the, the detail. As you can see the pink and the yellow here on this balcony. I think this is definitely one of the best walkthroughs I've done in a while, even though it's one of the smallest, one of the smallest uh, properties that I've walked through. But it's definitely worth, it's, it's uh, essentially it's weight in gold. So. You have a lots of old construction, old down, downtown with the new City Creek, literally. So if you have any questions regarding this uh, listing, if you're interested in making an offer, let's get moving. Because again, only two properties at this point. That one is the one to go for, 360 on the market right now. And again, you can just get out of your apartment or condo, walk over, whether you want to cross the street at the crosswalk, or just go under here and it goes under State Street into the, what is that, the Key Bank building at City Creek. Or you can just walk over, literally go to church right there if you happen to be from the LDS, uh, membership, uh, member of the LDS church. Gallivan Center right over there. You can just walk to anything that you could want. And as I said, that is Harmon's right over there so you can do your grocery shopping. So if you have any questions regarding this, uh listing do let me know uh i'm excited I, I, that's pretty cool i wouldn't get it for myself because i have three kids but for any business professional or again i'm not going to mumble yet again but you already saw what i said uh let's get something on okay something let's let's start working on something okay peace